Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 2nd, 2024. Well, I hope everyone had a good evening. Um, obviously, we had um, a little bit of volatility yesterday as we see the uh, Middle East or Eastern tensions continue to grow, and now Iran getting involved in the conflict raising some worries and we had quite the volatility yesterday in the markets but how about we take a look at what happened overnight first off asian markets um, remember uh, shanghai is going to be closed for the rest of the week for their golden holiday but my goodness hong kong tore it up last night moving up 6.20 percent as those stimulus um, plans out of china really seem to be inspiring an awful lot of chasing um, um, in those um, um, stocks. Just uh, amazing runs um, happening um, as those um, incentives are helping those stocks for the moment anyway. If we take a look at everything else, however, not so good. Australian markets were down 0.13%. The Nikkei was down 2.18%. We had India down. We had South Korea down. So most of Asian markets were lower last night in reaction to um, the situation in the Middle East. Now, European markets were down, had a little bit of a rough day yesterday, but they are trying to shake that off just a little bit this morning. We have the DAX down 0.31%. The FTSE, however, is trying to push up by 14 points. 0.18% and the CAC is trying to push up slightly up 12 points at 0.17% but remember I am recording this very early in the morning and things are going to shift and change likely throughout the day. Now if we look at U.S. futures, U.S. futures have been down all morning that since I have been preparing for the video um, we now have the Dow down 0.28%, S&P 500 down 0.19%, and the NASDAQ futures down 0.15%. So we try to figure out what all of this new um, uh, war um, situation is going to mean for the economy. Now, one thing that it certainly had some impact on yesterday was a huge surge in oil prices. Uh, moving up dramatically and they are moving up sharply this morning as well. Right now we have oil futures sharply higher up $2.45 a barrel to $72.27 a barrel. Brent crude is also up 2.29 $2.29 at $75.85 a barrel. That's 3.11% on the Brent and 3.37% on um, crude futures. So um, pretty dramatic uh, changes here. This morning we have natural gas trying to push up just ever so slightly. Um, if we take a look at um, UNG trying to push through, it was a little bit back and forth yesterday on natural gas, but it is trying to go higher this morning. If we take a look at our bonds, now our 10-year bonds are trying to push just a little higher here this morning. We've got uh, the two-year at 3.62%. The 10 year at 3.76% and the 30 year at 4.11%. So, still relatively tame, but we certainly have that tension starting to build in the market. Now, if we look at precious metals, boy, gold had an amazing day yesterday, surging up at one point, was up over $33 an ounce. Today, trying to ease that back here just a little bit. Gold right now down $18 an ounce, easing up some of that, um, well, probably shock of um, Iran coming into the conflict. And um, silver is also easing up just a little tiny bit here this morning. But we've got copper, platinum, and palladium 
all looking higher this morning so we'll have to be keeping an eye on those as they're trying to come back around to the upside now if we take a look at cryptos cryptos had a pretty rough day yesterday if i look at bito here pretty substantial decline uh, yesterday in bito but bitcoin uh, was falling really hard and this morning, it's also showing some bearishness down to $643 a coin or 1.06%. Ether is down $43 a coin at 1.76%. And right now, I'm seeing some red across the board there in those crypto markets. So we'll want to be keeping an eye on that. So what does all that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Well, we certainly had some volatility yesterday, and the markets whipsawed quite a bit in prices. Ended up uh, moving down pretty sharply, then bouncing up real sharply and then settling back down into the close to close a little bit lower. But overall, you know, if I were to take and try and draw a little box around this price action, guess what? We're still in that same consolidating box that we have seen here um, since the beginning of last week. We're still just chopping sideways with that uncertainty here. So overall, although we had quite a little bit of volatility, nothing really changed here we have a still have a bullish chart in the diamonds if the bulls were to find inspiration well we can certainly see where those sellers are they're right up in this area and we need we would need to see those bulls push up in there test that area and try to break through and then possibly we could come up and test that all-time high print to see if we can break on out to blue sky highs but um, right now, those tensions seem to be keeping us just a little bit on the uh, conservative side here, uh, trying to protect. If we look at the bearish side of things, if the bears were to come in, well, certainly it's pretty easy to see a break of that support right there. Might raise a little bit of concern. We give up these trends that I have drawn in there we'll have to keep an eye on that and this pushback into this support area would be um, kind of an interesting area to uh, try and catch support if we did push down in there and i think fear would really start to creep up if we started to drop below that that might mean some of these uncertainties in the market are raising more pressure and we could really start to see some concerns there now if we take a look at our spy spy still in the same box now although we had a nasty little bearish engulfing candle there yesterday you will notice that we did not break down through these support levels in the chart so looking at this area in here we're still holding darn it cool changed again fix that here real quick okay so um, we held that area here and we can still see where those sellers are right up here still in that consolidating box still within the upside trend so this is still a bullish chart and if those bulls were to find inspiration here well we need to recover this big ugly candle here and start pushing back up to retest that resistance in the chart and then of course breaking out of there we've got blue sky above but if the bears were to be inspired today by any of the data or any of the news surrounding the Middle East, watch this carefully for that possibility that we could test this pretty substantial area of price support. If it holds there, I think we're okay. There's no particular worries. But breaking down below there, if we were to slip these trends in here, pushing on lower, I think there might be a little concern being raised in the market. We'd likely see the VIX come up and maybe a little bit of worry starting to creep up. And breaking below there, I think would really start to raise some concern overall in the market. If we take a look at our QQQ, QQQ had a rough day yesterday. 
And at one point in time, we flirted with the idea of dropping below the support I have drawn in there on the chart. But by the end of the day, we ended up holding on to that. So you can see in here, this price range, we're stuck right between this range here. Pretty nasty bearish candle here yesterday. So if those bulls can find inspiration, first thing we need to do is break back through this area here. Can we push on up? break through uh, that big uh, black candle and then push into that next area of resistance above there. Of course, beyond that point, if we break out here, we're gonna be up here attacking these areas of the chart and maybe even starting to stretch out for the all time high. Now, if the bears were to find inspiration, well, it's pretty easy to see. A break down below yesterday's candle would probably raise a little bit of concern here in the QQQ, pushing us back to some of these next support levels here in the chart. Whoops, I didn't draw that very straight. Some of these next support levels and this upside trend. So watch that carefully. Now, if we were to break that trend, if we were to move on through and break that trend, I would have some serious concerns here in the QQQ that we could be running into some trouble. So watch carefully here. And you'll notice that the QQQ down into that area is a test of the 50 day. So if we can hold that 50 day, we'll be in great shape. Wouldn't be any major problem. Failing down through there, could be an, um, an issue for the market and raise some concern. And then if we look at IWM, I gotta tell you, IWM gives me the biggest worry in the market right now and appears to be the weakest of the indexes at the moment. And the reason I say that is because this now looks like officially a lower high. Um, we ran back up here to retest those resistance levels, failed, pushed back up, couldn't break back into that level and now we're pushing down to make a new low. So lower high followed by a lower low is the beginning of a bear trend. And if we were to see those bulls recover this, they've got a lot of work to do to recover. We're gonna to need to get back through that ugly black candle yesterday, try and push back up and then push back through this high before we can even start thinking about that possibility of retesting this resistance. Is it impossible? No, of course it's very possible for that to occur. But I gotta tell you, when we're looking like this and that lower high, lower low, it does make a little bit uh, more of a concern that we might be slipping here in the IWM. Now, our next support level is right in here on the chart. And if we were to push down into there and fail that, I think there's a real possibility that we could fall into this gap right in here and have a relatively quick move back down to test this trend in here in the chart. There's a kind of shallow upside trend here in the chart. We might be pressing into that area here before long. Watch that carefully and because dropping through there would probably raise some concern in the market. And we want to also keep in mind that if we were to drop below and fill that gap, we're going to be failing that 50 day moving average. And I do think that would raise some concern. If we can hold that 50 and bounce off of it, we got a better chance that we could recover and break through this little downtrend here in the chart. But failing through there is gonna raise maybe a little bit of concern on the Russell. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX had a, a pretty substantial increase yesterday. And as, I, as I've said, we're holding these support levels here in the chart. We've been doing pretty good on that. And if the bulls were to find inspiration today, we need to start making our way back down to retest this area in the chart um, and then push on through there if we're going to maintain that bullishness. However, the bears pushing up the way they are right now, notice that we've kind of broken this downtrend and a little bit of fear coming into the market. If they continue to push to the upside on here, notice we broke through this little area of resistance. We may start pushing up toward this area of resistance in the chart, pushing up into that low 20s area of the VIX, raising some of that concern in the market. But remember, it doesn't have, you don't really have to worry too much about the first pop up here. That first pop is, is obviously raising some concern, but if it's if we hold 
this as a higher low in here somewhere and then see follow through selling. That's where real selling can come into the market, just like right in here. That's where that real fear starts to creep up in the market. So watch carefully on the VIX as we try to figure out what all of this Middle Eastern tension is going to turn into. And then if we look at our T20s, our T2122, I would see yesterday as a good sign in the T2122 because T2122 finally relieved some of that overbought pressure here in the market. Now, the push down this morning, if we were to gap lower, could add, will add to that relief here in the chart. And then we might catch a little bit of a relief bounce um, on that. But if those um, uh, bulls were to find inspiration, this offers them an opportunity to push back up if we can find that inspiration in the market. So this finally opens a door to give a little bit more room for that move to the upside. But if the bears were to find inspiration, we want to keep in mind, we've been overbought for a while and perhaps we push on down and test some of these lower areas in T2122 if those bears continue to engage on this uncertainty in the world. If we take a look at our uh, T2108, T21, whoops, T2108, little pullback yesterday but no concern here and that's why the three main indexes uh, diamond spy qqq are still in bullish pattern so looking at this no particular change here yesterday it did pull back um, and we've got good support underneath here we've got resistance above i think we're still in that choppy consolidation um, here in the market um, although it's uh, a rather wide big point consolidation uh, probably making it a little bit difficult for traders to profit in here with this chop but once again, pretty normal for this kind time of year as we wait for the next round of earnings in the market. And then T2107, very much the same thing. We, we held up pretty good. We've got support levels under here. We've got resistance levels above. Not much changed in here yesterday, but certainly we've got a little bit of tension, a little bit of uncertainty to be um, concerned about, but right now we're not seeing that really develop into a major bearish move, at least yet. And if we take a look at our T2101, here's where our problem lies. Our problem lies in the fact that corporate, corporate buybacks are such a big part of the volume of the market today. Um, and um, they're in the blackout period. The breadth continues to fall. The consolidating chop zone is definitely set up, and it looks like it could easily last as long as we don't see, you know, geopolitical events or something else in the news uh, break one direction or another. But we're still seeing that breadth declining here and pretty common um, as we wait for the next round of earnings. And unfortunately, it's not going to be um, a short wait. We're going to have to wait till the 11th for the big bank reports to begin before this might start to get some inspiration. So watch carefully for that choppy condition to continue. If we take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today, our economic calendar, well, a little bit going on here this morning. Um, a refinance, um, um, our mortgage applications have already come in and um, a little bit of pullback there from um, what we had before, but still, uh, doing a lot better as those rates have fallen. Seeing a little bit more going on in there and you can see negative 1.3 versus an 11. Purchase index came in at 0.7 versus 1.4 and the refinance area just dropping 2.9%. So still um, showing a lot of improvement here since those rates started coming down. If we look now for the rest of the day, you can see we've got an ADP report coming up. They're looking for 121,500. So um, uh, uh, an increase over the prior of 99,000 in the ADP report. Watch that closely. I'm not exactly sure how the market would react to that if we start to see those jobs numbers creep back up because that 
that would probably give the Fed the cover to say, eh, we're going to continue on a slow course here in rate cuts. So watch that care carefully here. I'm not sure how we might react to that. Um, we've got Fed speakers here today. One, two, three, four Fed speakers today. We're going to have a petroleum status number coming out, which of course could be really important with the way the um, oil is moving around. More Treasury buyback announcements and a four-week bill auction um, uh, to be paying attention to here today. Remember, as we look into Thursday, um, one of our bigger days where we're going to have a challenger job cut, we've got um, jobless claims coming in here, factory orders, ISM numbers, um, we've got natural gas report, some Fed speakers, bond auctions on Thursday as we wait for this number. There's been a lot of talk that this number could be really critical in how the market reacts, um, what direction we ultimately go in the market. We'll see if it has that kind of impact, but keep an eye here on that Friday employment situation number. Now let's take a look at our earnings calendar here for today. There's not a whole lot going on in earnings, but we do have some notables. ConAgra will be reporting this morning, so keep an eye on that. We've got RPM also reporting this morning. Um, looks like it might be moving just a tiny little bit lower. And then this afternoon, we've got Levi Strauss coming in. Now, some of these clothing retailers, um, um, Levi's has been moving up strongly here trying to fill this gap, so watch that carefully this afternoon. But the reason I bring up those clothing retailers, Nike suffering a little bit of trouble here last night after their report. They beat on earnings but missed on revenues, um, removed guidance and all kinds of things. So um, that brought in a little bit of selling here on the Nike side of things. And I think that's probably normal. We're seeing those consumers really being stressed here in the market and, and not just here in the United States, but around the world and um, affecting some of these multinational um, retail type uh, companies. So watch uh, Levi Strauss carefully this afternoon. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you can please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you can do me that favor, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much to everyone. I really do appreciate it. Apologize I didn't get a chance to answer those yesterday. I was running two trading rooms and had an open house at the same time. So a little bit on the busy side yesterday. And thank you so much to everyone who came to that. Hope you got something out of that conversation. It was kind of a, um, a follow through to the uh, Monday night e-learning. Um, and um, I hope everyone um, felt like um, that was useful for their time. So let's take a look at a few of these stocks, remembering everyone that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You need to, to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful, careful in this market and remember that you should follow your rules and your trading guidelines, your risk tolerances. You should never ever just blindly follow someone else's trade ideas. So a few things that um, I, I did make a couple of um, uh, changes yesterday. Um, uh, take a look at G, um, Gilead, G-I-L-D. Nice little resting consolidation in here. And you can see we're resting out toward this trend. Beautiful little upside trend. Looking for that opportunity that Gilead might be able to push on through Come on up here and see if we can test some of these all-time highs here in the chart. Well, I guess that's not all-time highs, 2024 highs anyway, and then we can see if we can push on through. But Gilead, nice little pattern there overall, so I placed an alert waiting on that trade. If you take a look at Cleveland Cliffs, we've had some pretty good changes here in steel. Steel was kind of the red-headed stepchild there for a while, being beat down and beat down and beat down. Now we're starting to come around showing some um, really nice patterns, breaking that downtrend, nice little bullish pattern in here, looking for that to maybe push on through. And if you can take a look, we're trying to come up through that 50-day moving average, which would create 
or around a bottom breakout pattern. And other steel, you know, if you take a look at, you know, steel dynamics, really strong upside move came into there, pushing hard, breaking through some resistance levels. Now we're dealing with kind of a congestion zone here in the chart, but also showing that bullish pattern here. Had a good surge up yesterday. Watch that carefully, particularly if we continue to see the dollar weaken. Um, it, these steel commodities may come around pretty strongly. So watch that carefully in there. And there's plenty of others in here to be paying attention to. Um, MT showing nice patterns. Uh, New Core, beautiful bullish pattern in here on New Core. Um, considered buying that yesterday, but with uh, the uh, missiles being fired across into Israel from Iran kind of gave me a little hesitation on that but watch that carefully here new core also coming up and is in that rounded bottom breakout pattern so keep an eye on some of that steel take a look at um, um, soybeans here soybeans in a nice little bullish pattern here in the market again if the dollar weakens which normally happens on a rate cutting cycle you'll want to watch here on soybeans we're seeing some pretty good setups here for that possibility to push on through in there um, wheat also making a good move yesterday popping up trying to stretch on out so keep an eye on some of those grain commodities looking pretty good overall now when you look at um, some of whoops when you look at some of the uh, you know egg related companies like Archer Daniels not much going on there you know CF Industries is showing quite a little bit of bullishness uh, pushing to the upside you can see if we can break this resistance up here um, a rest or pullback would set up an opportunity there so, so there's kind of a mix in there and if you look at um, this ag related ETF also showing quite a little bit of bullishness trying to break through this resistance here in the chart that would be a big bottoming pattern to break out of then I'd keep an eye on that could be setting up here on some of those ag related businesses other places uh, to be paying attention to take a look at uh, Google now although Google has uh, an amazing amount of legal issues to deal with the federal government being after them right now we have been buying this back up and we've got a nice little inverted head and shoulders pattern that's developed here on Google so pushing through this resistance here in the chart popped up there yesterday and didn't really gain in too much traction with the selling of, of most other tech but um, with this in here, if this rests out here toward that trend, I'd look for that opportunity that that might push on through maybe completing that head and shoulders pattern. So watch carefully on Google. Now, I can't really say the same when we look at uh, things like um, Apple in here. We're pushing back. There's, there's still no reason to panic here on this chart. As you can see, we've got this little upside trend. But that bearish, that complete reversal yesterday does raise a little bit of concern there on Apple. And I would watch that carefully if that were to slip down below that level here in the chart, breaking that one back down. If we take a look at our moving averages in here, we're still holding that 50. So that uh, Apple's got that going for it at the moment. But if we look at Microsoft, well, Microsoft, had a pretty rough day yesterday and we created that you know that nasty little thing where we create a lower high followed by a lower low and it's trying gonna try and hold that 50-day moving average and some price support in here but we're starting to see maybe a little bit of concern in some of these tech giants so watch that carefully here as we progress they may be able to pick right back up but with these Middle Eastern tensions if that continues to boil over I'd watch those pretty carefully. There could be some fading into some of those stocks. Take a look at um, our financials as well. Our financials raising just a little bit of concern. It's not desperate by any means yet, but you can see that possibility that we've created that lower high here in the chart. Next step would be breaking on through to a lower low. And then we have the beginning of that little downtrend here in the chart. And if we take a look um, right in here, we've got a 50-day moving average that could hold us. 
but still think there is a possibility there's a test of that 50-day moving average coming um, as these concerns about our economy continue to grow and we're getting more and more evidence of slowing consumers so watch that close roku had a pretty has still has a nice pattern in here look like it may have a a, a shot to go a little bit um, earlier in this pattern but now it's starting to slip that trend but i still think this is a very nice consolidating pattern if we can get some bullishness going in the market I'd be watching for an opportunity there for that to perk on up. AKAM was really pushing into this resistance area of the chart. I created this whole line as an alert. Yesterday, that tech selling caused a little bit of pressure here, breaking that trend. Let's see if that follows through here today. Then, um, then this kind of comes off my list if it follows through but if it were to reverse and bounce back up well we may still have a chance there so keeping a close eye on that as well take a look at um, some of the discount sellers here five below has had quite a little pullback here now this could this could be that lower high lower low situation here in the chart but holding on to this trend and support is what I'm paying attention to right now. If those bulls can find any inspiration in here, and this was nothing more than a run up to fill this gap, if they can find some inspiration in here. I might watch this for that next opportunity to pop on out there. Keep a close eye on that. Of course, um, I've been uh, talking about um, Caterpillar, this big move up in Caterpillar, finally getting some cons consolidation and rest. I would wait for that next opportunity in here on that, as well as John Deere. John Deere made a heck of a move up, just tearing it up to the upside here all of a sudden, very dependent on China. And um, as you can see, breaking through some resistance now, little rest consolidation in here might give us that opportunity as long as the China situation continues to develop for an upside trend more than just a straight up run. So watch that carefully. So there's a few stocks for you to pay attention to. Thank you everyone for being here today. Thanks for everyone who attended yesterday. Um, I do truly hope it was useful to you. I want to wish you all a successful Wednesday, and I will see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Take care. Everyone.